It's like you get a record for the record and there's all these gorgeous cards in them. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I got a box from Japan. Box from Japan. I got a box from Japan. It's a rectangular box, thin, you might say, but it is a box, and it's from Japan, from P Bandai. Pre ordered these. This is the collector's selection, volume one. The first one to come out. I don't know if there's going to be more, but since it's called volume one, I think there's going to be more. But this is a box from Japan, and we are going to shrimp them. It's more of a slice them and check it out. But there are some beautiful cards in here, and I'm so excited to show them under these wonderful lights with this high def camera so you guys can see how awesome these shiny cards look from our friends in Japan making these beautiful Dragon Ball cards for us. But if this is your guys' first time here and you want to see shrimp ems and slice ems and deck profiles every week, make sure to smush that subscription button. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you for coming by. And let's see these beautiful cardos. This thing is too big to open on my shrimp em cam. So I'm going to slice them up here so we can see what's inside here. Slice them. To be a to be a real pirate, you need to know how to operate knives accordingly, especially shrimp and knives. It's very important. And then you just slice them right across the slice them. And what is this gonna look like? Am I excited to see what is inside of here? It is a brown piece of cardboard. What the what the heck? Wait. Oh my god! Though. Yo, Sha, look at that, like an LP. We got like, <laughs> this is like Bandai just put out a record, Dragon Ball record. Now you can collect Dragon Ball LPs, the Dragon Ball Collector Edition. What an amazing collector's item. Pull them, strip them out of this plastic case here. And here we have the collector's edition selection, volume one. My gotto! All right, we're gonna have to take a closer look at these. Every card in here just looks completely gorgeous. So we're gonna have to get a close look with our 3.5 magnification loops here. Now I'm gonna open this up and I'm just gonna go card by card. First card we have here is Great Ape Sun Goku Saiyan Instincts. Wow, what a beautiful, oh my gotto! It's so shiny. We're gonna have to get these out of the sleeves and get a closer look at this here. Wow, look, look at that foiling. Oh my gotto, whoa, Yosha. Wow, this printing is insane. This is on a totally different level. Each of these cards is basically like secret rare level of foiling. These are gorgeous. It looks so good. There's all this different texture in here and different stamps. Yosha, this is giving me a waku waku, if you know what I mean. All right, so that is San Instincts, Great Ape, Great Ape Son Goku. This is the draw ape, what a lot of people call this card. And then next, we have this Broly leader. Broly, the legendary Super San. So here's the unawakened side, which I believe this art is the same. Yeah, I believe this is the, the same original art. And then, wow, look at that. So this is a set one leader. Yo, whoa. Oh, oh, wow. Yo, my gato. Whoa, look, they got this silver stamp and this rays foiling. Oh man, the print quality is fantastic on these. This is on a completely different level of anything I've seen before. What an amazing pickup. I hope you guys pre-ordered these also because I think the secondary market value of these boxes or these collector's editions are gonna be absolutely insane. But just look how good the hair looks. What a gorgeous leader to play. I'm excited to build a deck with this because I'm gonna have to now because I have this gorgeous leader. And just goes right back there in the sleeve. Next up, we have SS4 Sun Goku, a heartfelt plea. And whoa, yo, look at that cardo. My gato, yo, sha, wow. Look at that thin gold foiling around the ape fur and just that really thin line right around his hair. God, these are gorgeous cards. They're just so dang beautiful. Good looking, look at that, wow, whoa. How do they even design these things? It's just beyond me. Their printers must be on a completely different level to be able to print this kind of stuff. But this card's amazing. It's used in so many different decks and it's just, you play this guy when you awaken, he's got offering and triple strike and wow, what a beautiful, beautiful card. So good looking. Ugh, dangerous to look at this stuff. It's so good looking on your eyes, balls. All right, well that's SS4 Son Goku, the heartfelt plea. The next one we have here is SSB Gogeta Fusion Onslaught. Wow. God, these are insane. What the heck? Oh, oh it's so good looking. God, look at that. Look at all the different colors. It's so iridescent. It's like a 
It's like a rainbow explosion for my eyeballs. Wow. Whoa. Gotta get that one in focus. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, that looks so good. It's a rainbow explosion. This looks like when he goes into the other dimension when he's fighting Broly. And they blast into that other dimension and there's all those colors and it's like that mystical inner between world. God, I love it. These cards look so rad. Oh, my goodness. What absolutely amazing collector's items. This is such a cool thing for Bandai to put out. I hope they do more of these oh boy whoa yo oh man what's the leader art like on the back oh yeah so this is the old set this is the og vegeto leader so rad it's too bad they didn't give these reworks in some way to make them a little bit more playable but they're definitely still relevant leaders all these cards are just like explosive rainbow cardboard with the most insane texture foiling patterns that we've seen they're just like secret rares it's like every single one of these is like a secret rare holy hexagon these look good all right, so there's Vegito, Fusion Warrior, Super San Vegito. Gorgeous piece of card bird we got here. All right, next we have Unforeseen Darkness, Goku Black. Now this card is so good. And in blue yellow, what a useful card to just be able to draw to pitch and untap an energy. So dang useful. And this looks great. Oh, it's got this cool like foiling thing going on. I don't even know how to describe these things, but the, the delicacy of these, of these silver stamps, like you see that around his fingers, how fine that stamping is. That's insane they look so good i wish you could see these in person i mean i hope that you can get an idea of how great they look just by seeing them on this camera but these are like these like bend your eyes with how good they look this is insane wow well there's goku black unforeseen darkness our next card is Super Baby One, Parasitic Menace. Whoa, whoa, that is so cool. Look at these like circles. It's got these weird kind of arcs that look like waves almost. Wow, what an insanely cool design. And you can see there's some of those same waves in this foiling inside this line. These are so layered. The amount of work that must've gone into these designs is just insane. And we get to just appreciate them and look at them and see how beautiful they are. What an absolute treat. What a a complete treat this is this is a dragon ball adventure eyeball treat and i just love to be a part of it super baby one parasitic menace wow what a good looking card oh my god yosha wow oh man I love this stuff. I love these cards. They look so good. All right, what's next here? This is the Surge Broly, the red green Broly, I believe it is. Wow, Broly Surge of Brutality. And on the back here we have, yeah, this is definitely the Surge Leader, red green. Oh man, this looks really cool. You know, the, the I guess the complexity of the foiling isn't quite as diverse on this, but if you compare this to what the other leader looks like, I mean, it doesn't even come in foil. This is the first time we're seeing this leader in foil. Oh, I would have loved to see a reworked Kefla. That would have been so cool but oh gotta be happy with what we have it's just a gorgeous silver stamp not quite as complex in the other texturing but hey i am not complaining these cards look great the next one we have here is relentless speed janemba i want to build a janemba deck there's so much good new janemba stuff this is nice it's just you know it's not too crazy got a nice kind of explosive foiling coming out from janemba and ugh, when you bend the light on it like that it just looks so dang good gosh oh my god though and look how you can see the name flash in the light the right way i guess i'm building janemba 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 gorgeous card love to see it love to have it welcome to the collection all right our next card we have here going to the next page of this booklet is scientist who and whoa this is cool this is some deep dark and dangerous foiling i don't even know ah oh, when you look at it when i look at it with these glasses you can see how much insane texture there is on here there's the most complex design in this foiling i wish i was able to show it to you guys better but it just looks insane it's so detailed there's so many levels to the stamping and the way that the card looks when you hit it with the light just looks amazing these rainbow eyeball candy explosion dragon ball cards wow look at that let me get it right there let me get that in focus wow whoa yo how do they do it time and time again dragon ball super card game developing team just makes the most beautiful shiny cardboard for us to play with and we just get to play with it that's it we just put in these decks and we slap these cards down on the play mat and perform these amazing feats damage and counters and all these powers with this whoa yo okay now this card is i only have two of this sr which is uncommon for me to only have two of a card this card looks insane they even did a different texture foiling pattern just on the saber his hand saber that is so cool and there's like a fingerprint foiling inside this part 
God, I wish I could show how good it looks with these glasses on. It just looks so dang good. It's gorgeous. These are gorgeous pieces of cardboard. Gorgeous rainbow, beautiful eye candy, really. It's like you get to eat candy and you don't even have all the negative side effects. It just looks great. All right, the next one we have here is SSB Kaioken Sun Goku Concentrated Destruction. So this is the one that you play it. This is weird because this almost looks like Vegito because of the flame around his hand or the energy around his hand looks like a glove almost. So it makes you kind of think maybe this is Vegito, but it is not. This is Goku. This is SSB Kaioken Sun Goku Concentrated Destruction. There's a lot of text up there in the name. I know it's hard to hear, but gosh, that looks good. Look at that rainbow. Look at that rainbow. It's so amazing. Oh man. And there's like four different kinds of texture foil and layered in the different parts of this as well. Oh, so beautiful. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous card and a good card at that. And I'm glad it got a reprint because it's really useful. And of course they had to do Sun Goku, The Adventure Begins. I, you know, I've built Kid Koo so many times and I've never gotten to play it, but this card looks awesome. Wow. Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. Ah, oh, it's got every part of these cards. There's like all these little rainbows hidden in them. If you just look at it at the right angle, it's like, oh, wow. Yeah, there's actually a rainbow right there. Oh, yeah, there's a rainbow right inside this little flash the whole time. I bet his pole is a rainbow, too, and you just wouldn't even know it. Oh, man. I, if I could even count the number of foiling different texture patterns. There's a different texture here. There's a different texture here. There's a silver stamp. There's a different texture here. These are insane. These are absolutely insane. This is, this is on the level of secret rare complexity. I really think they are. These are gorgeous. You just get a book of 18 secret rares. <laughs> Crazy. And then here, here we have the IARs reprinted with different art and these look rad. Wow. Frieza's death ball. Definitely all these look so much better. Oh man, that gold stamp and the centering on these look really good as well. It looks like they, they cut these pretty specifically and aimed them quite well. Just such advanced printing technology. It's so, what an age to be alive, to be able to see this stuff. How freaking cool is that? Look at that. Look at the texture inside of that ball there. Gorgeous. And this stuff doesn't just come out of nowhere. This comes from thousands of years of Japanese cultural development and history to bring us these amazing pieces of cardboard that hail from the Japanese woodblock training tradition. I mean, this all comes from somewhere. This, this all comes from art history and it lands here in our hands to be able to see these gorgeous cards. Ultra Instinct Goku's Kamehameha. Wow. Now this one I'll definitely use. I'm definitely going to put this in a deck. I don't play this card that much, but with how good it looks, it makes me want to play it more. God, look at that. Oh my God. Whoa, it's rainbows everywhere. Hey, guess what? Another rainbow right here. You want to see a rainbow? Just tilt this card a little that way. What an awesome looking card. Now, Cell's Earth Destroying Kamehameha is our next IAR here. And it's got it's got their full bodies on this one. I think that the first version of these were just mostly their top halves. Now we get to see their legs. They really get to see the kind of form they have with these. And they got the same thing going on. This is kind of like the balls they did on the SPRs from set nine. They kind of have that effect to show that like energy pulsating from inside the ball. It's so cool. It's, look at all those rainbows. Again, all the rainbows. Rainbows. They got all the rainbows in the world. Wow. Oh man, what a gorgeous, gorgeous card. And then there's a bunch of textures inside there as well. All right, I'm saving Vegeta's final flash for last. I'm gonna jump over here to Majin Buu's Human Extinction because I'm really excited to look at Vegeta's final flash. We'll make that the last card. This is our second to last card here. Majin Buu's Human Extinction. This art's pretty close to the other one, but it's got all this cool texturing in it. Again, look at that, gorgeous textures so cool and then of course there's a million rainbows inside of it as well hey ever wonder how you could fit a gajillion rainbows inside of a car just ask excess cash the gazillionaire finally we have here vegeta's final flash the final card of the collection yo what an insanely gorgeous card this if you don't like vegeta this card alone i feel like will make you fall in love with vegeta it's so useful in yellow just to ignore something skills ignoring barrier just Negative. It's nothing. And it gives you card 15k. Oh man, gonna have to be running play sets of these. This card is so dang good looking. A secret rare final flash. Who knew that they made those? Well, now we do, because look at those beautiful energies. Oh my god, though, this is so insane. Oh, oh, whoa, yo, ah, my eyes. It's so good looking on my eyes. Oh, whoa, ho, ah, god, beautiful. So dang beautiful. Wow. Well, that's it, guys. That's been the collector's selection volume one. Some of the most beautiful cards ever made in the Dragon Ball Super card game. They come in a basically a record. It's like you get a record for the record, and there's all these gorgeous cards in them. I think these are such amazing 
collector's items and I think people are gonna absolutely love them. I'm excited to see what volume two is gonna look like. I am Joku DMD. I am a dentist. I can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip. So here's a little tip on how to keep your teeth shiny like these beautiful cards. Your teeth are actually crystals. They're called hydroxyapatite. Well, the enamel is at least. It's a crystalline structure. So you have gems hanging out of your skull that you get to communicate all of your emotions with. You get to eat with them. You get to talk and breathe. All these great things that your teeth do for you. So you gotta take care of them. Make sure to brush twice a day, once in the morning, once at night for two minutes. The power toothbrush helps with that because power toothbrushes have timers on them. Make sure to floss at night. I recommend using a Listerine access flosser and spend time taking care of your teeth because your teeth are gonna take care of you as you get older. So take care of them. It's called the golden rule. Treat others as you wanna be treated. So if you want your teeth to treat you well, you gotta treat your teeth well. I'm Joku DMD. I hope you guys have enjoyed this beautiful collector's edition volume selection one, and I will see you guys next time.